When I get up in the morning, the first thing I can think is, is that I am going to be doing good things today. We want to create a farm here that will be here for our children's children. Before we explore what that means, we want to introduce you to a couple of the people busy feeding us and who really love their land. The ground's all nice and moist, real warm, smells good, smells great. We're, we're into a, an era of limitations and an era when we have to think more about what we're doing and our impacts. Extinction of species and lessening of water. And so when do we learn that our actions are consequential? Good, how are you doing? All of a sudden, you have a place for the community to come together. It's not on a polit you know, political issue, it's not religion, it's, you know, it's around food, and they can come together and be a community. And that has re really brought that back. It is just a fundamental human thing. You go, you see the produce, you meet the farmer. I mean, it goes on around the world every day. In a way, it turns back the clock a century to more what farms used to be decentralized and small and connected to their communities. And hopefully it moves it forward a century too. You do the best you can for as long as you can and depend on the future. That's just a taste of immense possibilities, our weekly series on inspired projects and people we want you to know about. See that click here link below? Good. That's where you click to watch this full episode to find out more about immense possibilities.